So you know that there are two questions that are on the wall in our classroom. Why are things the way they are? And how can we make them better? Those two questions actually showed up in a mailer from a design company in my mailbox when I taught at the middle school. That was in the early 2000s. And those two questions, which I, I never sought out the company that sent them to me, they just appeared fortuitously in my mailbox. Those two questions changed the trajectory of my career and helped me focus what I really wanted to accomplish as a teacher. And that was to help people observe the world with intention, whether it be through language, whether it be through uh, design, whether it be through science, but to realize that the world that we have made is made with intention and that we can always make things better. So uh, what I wanted to do then with this passion pursuit is really address a key thesis and purpose. My thesis is that close informed observation of the built environment can help us learn how to make the world a better place. My purpose was to create a series of videos, as you can see here, um, to capture my passion for looking at the world through the lens of design. But I soon realized as I got into this that it could be so much more, that what I really wanted to do was to bring other people here to see how I look at the world and to learn how they might be able to use a similar perspective to help their own students um, or children become better observers and uh, make the world a better place. So what I did then is I started by sort of going back into my, my own past and I dug up a video that really was the prototype for these things. And in this video where I take a Starbucks mini cupcake box from um, the early teens, it's around 2010 or so, and I sort of deconstruct the purpose of that box and how that box at the level of design helps Starbucks not only sell their products better, but also create an experience that brings people back again and again. So it's a way of reading the world is really what I'm sort of getting at. And so I took that and then I started applying it to other things. And this is where Design Bites really comes from. So these are OXO Good Grips kitchen tools. Again, something created with intention to solve a particular problem. And this is really important to me. Right? When problems exist in the world and we know we can do something about them or we don't know, but we feel that somebody should, then we ought to act on those things. Making the world a better place is what education is all about. It's not about tests. It's not about your SAT scores. It's about whether or not we can help you learn the things that you need and want to learn so that you can go out and make an impact on the world. Talking about impact on the world, here is probably my favorite design bite. It is uh, Tony's Choco Lonely. It's a great video, if I do say so myself, because I talk about the story of this company. Really, I'm just retelling their story. And their story is so compelling because what they're really trying to do is to change a part of the world, a really important part of the world, one chocolate bar at a time. And it's an amazing use of design to get that done. And then I sort of ended here with uh, Tinker Crates. And Tinker Crates are these boxes that my children used to get for several years. And what I really like about them is one, boxes, because I love boxes, and two, uh, the way they designed the learning for these boxes so that a child um, of an age eight through let's say 14 could come to these boxes and enter them at any point and learn something. But I think last night was a turning point for me in this project because as I sat down last night and I listened to the news about what was going on in Philadelphia and realizing how those things connected back to what had been happening with George Floyd in Minneapolis and then so many other people like George Floyd over the past few years, um, I realized that my focus on design might actually be rather short-sighted um, or selfish, uh, which is to say, yeah, I really like looking at the world and figuring out why things are the way they are. But if I really want to make things better, I have to work at the level of people, not objects. And so I sat down and I wrote this. It is not a video. It is a long post um, that I shared with some people and that will appear on one of my blogs um, and sort of sets me forward uh, towards a new understanding about what I might be able to do 
to help make the world a better place. It does involve English. It does involve stories. It does involve design. And it's a bigger bite, I think, of design than what I had intended with these videos. But it is a bite I'm absolutely willing to take. Um, the last thing to take a look at, if you wanted to, would be to look at the research I've done. Um, some of these things I've written myself. This is an, a paper I wrote. Uh, this is one that is somebody else wrote, but is seminal in my development. This is a blog post I wrote, which is actually used by um, a design professor at Kent State in Ohio uh, with her introduction to uh, design-based teaching students. And then um, the George Floyd um, Time article and toothbrushes because I love toothbrushes. And it will probably be toothbrushes that become the next design bite um, as I work between those and trying to establish how I can make some social change. So that's really it. Uh, I learned a ton about how to make videos like the one that you're watching um, by doing this. And uh, I have to say, I've had a lot of fun and I'm excited about where this project can go.